Hi, I'm Darren from Blackmagic Design here at IBC 2025 to tell you everything that's new from Blackmagic at this year's show. So first up, in terms of cameras, we have some additional ProRes support to the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, and that's to coincide with ProRes being added to our DaVinci Resolve software application, so we now support ProRes RAW from within that in DaVinci Resolve 20.2. Um, also, we've released the Blackmagic Camera Pro Dock. Now, this is for use with the iPhone, the new iPhone 17 Pro Max and the iPhone 17 Pro. And this allows you to use the iPhone 17 with uh, professional accessories, including Genlock and Timecode input as well. Also at the show, we're also talking about products that were announced earlier in the year, but are now shipping. So for example, in terms of live production, the ATEM 4ME Constellation 4K Plus is now shipping. So we announced that earlier in the year. The ATEM 4ME Constellation 4K Plus is an 80 input and 48 output production switcher for use with the highest density and uh, highest demanding uh, live production applications. For example, sports and esports, which have a large number of sources. To coincide with that, we also have a release ATEM 10.0, which adds shadow busing and source replacement, which is ideal for when you have multi-ME switches that want to broadcast on one of the ME, but perhaps feed screens inside stadium uh, on the second ME. And the ability to shadow those buses means you can send the same things to both MEs, and using source replacement, if you ever want to swap a specific source, then you can do so. Also in live production, we're uh, show, showcasing a technology demonstration for stream routing and uh, cloud-based switching. So this is utilizing Blackmagic Cloud, where we can build a router in the cloud and a switcher in the cloud um, using our new encoders and decoders. Also, um, DaVinci Resolve 20.2 has been released with the additional support for ProRes RAW, as well as a number of new AI features which will aid post-production creators and content creators uh, in their workflows.